video, well, I mean, unless you count the webcam video that I did, um, yesterday that I uploaded, um, I hope some of you guys saw it, but yes, I'm alive, um, and excuse me, I do have a cold, so if I sniffle and you're like, oh my god, stop sniffling, that is why, I have a cold, but basically I thought, just for something fun and simple, and something that I can do really, like, a one take, because I don't have an editing system necessarily, um, as a YouTube editor, but I haven't really had a chance to fill around with that yet and see it work because I tried using it I think once and it just was very confusing and I I seen a little bit to sit there working with it. So I thought for something fun to do and again I'm talking my hands and you're probably gonna hear my cat and the camera shouldn't shake and you might as well see some dishes up there because my sink's up there. I'm in my kitchen on the floor. But yeah, I thought I would do a book review on this book. It is The Little Woods by McCormick Templeman. And I will do a little bio here. McTorm Mc I can't talk today to save my life. <laughs> McCormick Templeman attended a school not unlike St. Bede's as a teenager. She then graduated from Reed College and went on to complete two master's degrees. She lives in Southern California where she is a licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. This is Miss Templeman's first novel and then the simple visitor at McCormickDoppelman.com. And I remember reading that thinking, this is their first novel, but this is a, just a novel, it's about that thick. And if I remember correctly, hold on, um, they did it in parts. Last time I checked, but I was going to say, I thought I could see one, but I guess not. Wait. Or not. But anyways, it's in here, um, they do it in parts, so, like, you'll go through a couple chapters, and then it'll say, like, part, like, whatever, I don't know. Like, there's chapter six, you know, and it goes on and on and on until you get to, like, and then it goes to about eleven, twelve, thirteen. There it is. Sorry, I'm determined to send you guys understand. This is part two. See, this is where it's... It's really awesome. It's a, basically, it's a mystery novel, and I'm not a mystery person. My mom is. My mom's mystery geek 101. I'm not. Um, come to mind, I don't mind as much during the day when I'm not home alone, but if I'm, I mean, even if I'm home alone during the day, I can watch it. But at night, come to mind, so sometimes come to mind can freak me out. I'm not a big mystery person. Like, yeah, I find some mysteries kind of eerie and cool, but there's certain mysteries I'm just not a big fan of. They kind of spook me. I'm not a scary movie person. No. <laughs> but anyways, this book, um, my mom, when we were at chapters because I needed a book, and she pointed it out, and I was like, read it, and I was like, mm, yeah, see, because I think it was mainly because I was frustrated because I needed a book so bad. So I finished reading, and I guess I held a book and read it, a certain book to a certain standard, which if you want. I can do a book review on that, but I thought this would be a fun one to do, but, um, and then we ended up going back after we left chapters because I ended up wanting this. Basically, the back, it doesn't have the bio, the, or not the bio, um, the description of the book is in the glove, in the sleeve, but basically in the back it says, people say the woods behind St. Bede's Academy are haunted, even cursed. So far, three girls have gone missing from the school without a trace, but can a person really just disappear? And it's eerie the way it says that, but basically the premise of the storyline I haven't read in a while, so if, it looks like I'm con if I'm looking in something in the book, it might be because I'm just trying to think or whatever. But basically, um, it says, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but it says, Unexplained disappearances, suspicious, suspicious death, there's something wrong with the woods behind St. Bede's Academy. And basically it's about a girl who gets switched, or not, doesn't get switched, but goes to St. Bede's Academy halfway through her junior year of high school. I think it's junior. Yes, halfway through her junior year. And she's suddenly thrust into a world of privilege and prestige in a no time flat she learns to navigate the complex social wor world of the upper E colon. It's E C H E L O N. I think like E colon or E colon or whatever. But basically what it is is her sister, because it the girl, her name is Callie Wood. And her older sister, Claire Wood, um, had her their dad had a friend who worked at St. Bede's and had a daughter as well, and so they were hanging, so they went, when they were growing up there, they decided to go to St. Bede's and visit, and let's just say the girl is talking about, and the other girl's name is Laurel, you don't, I mean, she's never really interested in the book, because 
Let's just say she's already dead. One night, suddenly the girls are missing, but the reason, you find out the reason kind of, but basically what it is, you find out in the end, obviously, but what she's been told is that there's a fire at St. Bees and Claire died. That's what Callie's always been told. But she starts to find out through the novel that, hmm, did they really die in a fire? What happens with the woods? And every once in a while you see, like, the really weird things with the woods. And the woods really make you eerie. Like, I'm getting eerie talking about it. Like, I, it freaks me out. It is a great mystery novel. It is very spooky. So, I mean, for someone like me, don't read it at, like, 9.30 at night when it's, like, dark and you're going to be going to bed soon. Because it freaks me out a bit. Um, but I recommend it out of five stars. I would give it... Wait, no, let's do it out of... Yeah, out of five. I'd probably give it a four and a half because, it, I mean, for her novel, like, this is her first novel and I really enjoyed it. I think, I can't remember how much it was, because after a while, books get worn and there was a little, it was actually on sale. But basically, it's a very mysterious book. And, like, even my mom at one point said she might read it and seal it off for me, but she never really did. She's reading a Stephen King novel right now, but I thought I would just do this because it's very awesome. The cover is really cool. Sorry, that's my cat in the background. If you hear her, it sounds like rolling or whatever it's her being a complete goofball but i thought i would do a quick book review this might have been really chaotic sounding to me personally at least it did um i'm just i can't i guess i'm not thinking straight i'm not thinking straight but like yeah but yeah it's just very eerie but it's also kind of cool because she creates friendships and then she has issues with those friendships and there's a part of that that seems really real in to teenage life, but, you know, you go to a new school, which I've only been in one school my entire life, but of course now I'm in a new school because I'm in high school, but you understand it, that literally she basically is going to this new school and she makes friends, all this, and then near the end something happens with them and you really understand it, really. And it's kind of, there's a really weird connection, some people I think will find a connection to it like I did, but um, there's just something about about it that just makes you think <laughs> like it relates to you and one thing I really like about the cover is obviously it's really cool they look like cherry blossom trees to me like they could be cherry blossom trees I think that's what they are but this reminds me of someone like if someone would like scratching the book I don't think that I don't know if that was on purpose but that's to me what it reminds me of but yeah it's just a, it's a good few chapters I think it's like it's from the publishing company is Schwartz and Wade books. It's a Schwartz and Wade book, and to, so I would recommend this to you if you're looking for something new. And it also it involves love, romance, mystery, friendship. Um, what else do you want to know about it? Personally, to me, that's what I would say about it. This is my first book review, and I'm gonna get better at them. It's not like I'm gonna do this all the time. But I thought I would show you guys a book that I loved. It's been about two months since I read this. And I remember when I finished it, it was torture. But it end, it didn't, it ended well to me personally. Um, let me check. Yeah, it kind of, it ends, like, sorry, I think I was mixing me end up with another book. But, um, the last line, I don't want to read it to you guys. But it ends very nicely like it closes like you know how some books don't end well i mean usually those are the books that have that are like two or three books in a series like they're a series this is not and it ends very well i mean there are books that sometimes you just don't like the way they end like they end well but you just don't like it this one had a very close it, pretty much a closed ending it was very good the way she ended it was very simple sweet and you almost at the end you feel such a love for Claire in this book that you're just like oh my goodness and then some of the boys in this you start to think why aren't you real but then at the same time though you're like I'm glad you're not real because there are days where come on people but yeah it's great it's almost in the pretty much they say that the woods are cursed and I know I'm babbling back and forth and back and forth but that is my book review that's probably I don't want this to be a long video but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw me because I was trying to angle the camera so you could see me. <laughs> but yeah, and comment down below a book that you know, either the book that you're reading now. Okay, let's do it this. Okay. Comment down below the book that you're reading now. If you would recommend it and if it's really good. Can I talk about that? And maybe what you would rate it in five stars. Or you can if you're maybe not reading a book right now. Or you don't really know about your book yet. Because I mean, when you're reading ow. When you're reading a book. Um, until you know, the, until you, like, you hit the end, you don't really know what to rate it and stuff. So, yeah, like, 
Um, and if not, tell me a book that you have read that you really enjoyed, or recommend a book for me. Comment down below. All that, because I want to know. And I should be uploading more. I'm going to try and upload one taste, because I don't necessarily have an editing system other than the YouTube editor. And I can use my webcam. Well, it's not like my computer. It's like me and my family's computer. But I can use a webcam to film videos. Um, I might try and use my camera as much as I can. But then again, like I told you, it'll be one take. Kind of, which, yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.